Hello, thank you for joining this video. Here we'd like to take a look at the drop down menu for your Shopify store. So to begin with, we'd like to show you a few examples. So we go to our demo store of our game theme in the theme style delays. And here, as you can see, we get these examples of mega menu. And here we have our drop down menu. So as you can see, when we hover on this, it just simply drops down and then we can go even um, further here. So to recreate this section, we of course, first of all, need to have our menu drop down and with sub menus. So for example, um, we've created this menu here, we'll link a video in the description box on how to create the menu for your Shopify store. So let's take a look at this example. And we have this about section. And as you can see, when we click here, we have few pages uh, that show up in here. We can, of course, add other pages. So we just click on add item. We, for example, go here and we choose pages. And here are all of the pages that we can. So, for example, let's also add our store location. And now we have three sub menus underneath our about menu. And there are two ways to have the drop down menu. So for this, we go to our theme customizer and to header section. And then we go in here, we have our menu. We'll also link a video on how to set up the header section in the description box. So feel free to check it. And in this menu section, we have the type. So there are three types, both drop down and mega menu. So for example, if you only want to have mega menu in your store, we just simply choose this type. Now let's save our changes and let's go to view here. So as you can see, we have this menu as mega menu, this one, this one, and this one. As you can see, our about menu is not shown as mega menu. As for mega menus, we actually need them to add them as blocks. So right here, we need to click add block and choose any of these blocks. We'll link a video, several, several videos in the description box on how to set up each of these blocks. So in order for us to show you this about, uh, we'll need to add it as a mega menu. However, if you want to show it in a drop down, there are two other ways. So for example, we can change the type to both. Now let's save our changes. And as you can see, we have several sections as mega menus. So other sections, other menus like this about menu that are not added as a mega menu, they will reflect as drop down. So we once again go to our store. As you can see, we see shop as mega menu, new as mega menu, summer sale and contact us. These are all mega menus, but about is set as drop down as we do not have um, the about mega menu in our theme customizer. Or we can also choose all of our menus to only be drop down. So for this, we first of all need to either remove blocks of our mega menu or just simply hide them like these. So they are no longer active. And we need to go to our header. And here we can to either set it both or drop down. So now let's save our changes with the drop down. Let's click on view. And now all of our menus that have any sub menu within them. So as you can see, new in used to be a mega menu with images, since this new in menu doesn't have any sub menus. So this is why now it simply looks like this. But others that have uh, the uh, sub menus and even sub menus underneath them, they are shown as these drop down menus. The same for our summer sale and the same with our about. So, this is how you set up drop down menu or mega menu from your theme customizer. And this is it. This is simply how you just change, interchange the types between the both the drop down or the mega menu, you can easily do so in your theme customizer. And if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. We're always here to help you. And don't forget about our theme menu where you can also find all of this information in here. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.